What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. EA have finally, finally, finally given us something to do over Futmus. Guys, I wonder first and foremost if they have given us some special packs. Uh, some promo packs, of course they have. Who am I trying to kid? So yeah, there's some rare gold packs, some 50k packs and some rare mega packs in there. But what we are here for today, guys, is the SBCs. They have given us... Uh, the team of the week upgrade, a tradable team of the week upgrade, and then the Premier League, well, the top five league upgrades again. So I'm not overly interested in a lot of these and then marquee matchups with it. Is that a premium gold players pack? We'll get to that when, as and when. Um, basically, we know what these ones uh, consist of. Uh, I think for the regular upgrades, it's just seven common cards. Sorry, 11 common cards. Yeah, just gold, 30 chem. And then for the good upgrades, uh, the 25k packs, it's seven shinies and Four commons, I believe. Um, eleven. Oh wow, was it always that? Was it always eleven shinies? Or were, I thought it was seven and four. They've made it eleven. They, I don't know if it was always eleven. You're trading in eleven shinies for three shinies. I, don't, I mean, e I don't understand. EA. I don't understand. Anyway. Uh, there is a Team of the Week upgrade, which we're going to get to here today. I hope it's not extortionate. 83 rated, 40 chemistry. That is fantastic because that means that we can just use lots of goalkeepers. All the 83 rated goalkeepers you've ever had, guys. And what is really good about that is that the you can get away with 983s and 282s. So if you've got a lot of untradables, very nice indeed. It's a good Team of the Week for this Team of the Week pack as well. So very happy with that. We're gonna build. Um, we're gonna build two untradables. That's Mandanda. Good start. If I've got some 82 untradables as well, we'll use them. Sommer and Rugani, uh, and then we'll go to. Let's start with the French league. Um, we'll, we'll build. We'll build a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything here, and hopefully we'll be able to get some good walkouts. And we'll have a look at the tradable team of the week as well. And if the tradable team of the week is good, by the way, 83s are about to go through the roof. Some of them were already a little bit expensive. Um, but now specifically these 83s are about to go mental. Fortunately enough for me, I've got a trade pile absolutely slam full of 84s and 83s. So I'm going to be able to get uh, lots of these SBCs done with just items in the club that I'm actually having to go and buy some stuff, which is great. So we're going to build uh, three or four of these right here right now uh, and take a look at a couple of the uh, tradables. Now I assume that the tradable team of the week is going to be... Also 83 rated, but requiring two informs. Uh, I don't know that for sure. Obviously, that's just my guesstimate. But based on the fact that um, based on the fact that the Premier League upgrade pack is way way harsher than that, perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps it's going to be three informs, or an 84 with one inform. Either way. I hope it's not like way too expensive. But the fact that it's 80, sorry, the fact that it's only 30 chemistry should actually keep the general price quite low. Not super low. Uh, have we got horn here? I, I can only imagine so. There we go. Yeah, not super low, but I, I don't know if, I don't know if too many people are holding too many 83s for the price to really shift too much. What you're actually going to see is over the next sort of like hour or so, you're going to see, um, you're going to see 83s go down briefly, 10 or 20% before spiking as people start dumping. Let's have a look at the Team of the Week upgrade. What is it going to be? Yeah, an 83 rated with two informs for a tradable. I think we'll stay away from that, guys, until I get duplicate tr untradable Team of the Weeks. We'll build a third one here as well. We will go through the... Um, through the the SBC, sorry, the um, special packs as well, specifically the 50Ks. I don't mind opening those now so that we can get a whole bunch more stuff. Like, we've got a lot of stuff here. So, basically, yeah, we can upgrade our um, our club with the 50Ks. I don't want to use Promes. Let me get him out of there. Uh, Vasquez can go in and Guardado can go in. And then we need to go and get ourselves a few more 83s. Chinese League has got some 83s. Carrasco being one of them. Polish League, no. Norwegian League, Dutch League. Oh, I think there's a few 83s in the Dutch League. I don't have any if there are. Uh, Greek League, no. Australian League, no. Icons, obviously. Uh, Russian League, surely in the Russian League we've got some 83s. Maybe there are, but I just don't have them. Mexican League, no. Uh, Colombian League, Brazilian League. Oh, is what's Juliano from? 
Doesn't matter anyway. Liga Nos is a place that we've got lots of 83s. So, uh, Pereira can go in there. So, we've got three... Uh, oh, wow. I've actually not got the chemistry here. There we go. We've got three... Oh, wait. What was that? 40 chem. Wait, have they changed that? I swear it needed 30 chem. And now it needs 40 chem. Was it 40 all the time? Or was it 30? It was 30 at the start, wasn't it? Am I, I don't even remember if it was 30 or 40. Um, let's do a couple of... Obviously, for the, the informs... Um, I can't I don't I can't remember if it was 30 or 40. I'm going crazy. Um, obviously, for the uh, informs... The Premier League is a good place to start. Because the team of the week, in general, is pretty good. Uh, obviously, Pogba being in there is one of one of the best ones. Uh, let's go and get ourselves some uh, some gold cards here. So yeah, in terms of uh, the, you, we've got Foster, Pogba, Townsend, Hyungmin Son. Is it wasn't Hyungmin Son and Paul Pogba also in Team of the Week last time? This time last year when they did this same thing. Um, so ba basically, actually, only Son and Pogba are the good um, Premier League players. Uh, Alexandro from the Italian league is the only quality player. Lala from the French league could could be quite useful, actually, the French league, with how few uh, good cards they have available. Um, Ribéry, no one's really interested in. Do you know, when you look at this team of the week and you look at the quality of the players and you think to yourself... Who really are you going for here? You look at Sandro, Lala, Pogba and Son, right? I don't think anyone's building these packs to try and get Ribéry or to try and get Foster or to try and get anyone of the, you know, Townsend or Gertz or anything like that. And so off that note, I just, I genuinely don't think that people are super, super interested. Um, however, this is where we're at. So I've, I've got one Premier League pack. I just want to see what the, like, what the kind of luck is like here we're going to open this one now i'm going to save the team of the week packs until after oh we get a board there that's quite nice good start um until after the special packs brazilian striker who's that gabriel jesus untradeable i think he can go straight into the club um but i, I just don't think i can't remember if it was 11 shinies before or not as i said i thought it was a seven and four split i didn't think it was 11 shinies what i do want to do however is um Go and get the 83s and such off my trade pile real quick. And then we're going to go open the pack. So I will be right back. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the 50k packs. I'm not going to open the other packs. The, the, the rare gold packs in general are just tragic anyway. The rare mega packs are actually pretty decent. But we'll save those for another video. They're there for 24 hours. So we're going to open the 50k packs. And then I'm going to open the three Team of the Week players that we've got saved. For every walkout that we get for the Team of the Week untradeable packs, I will do two more for this video. As we get Sesk Fabregas there. And another nice 84. I don't mind every 83 and 84 right now in 50k packs. is is very valuable to the uh, to the account. So there's uh, a few good players there. Uh, Danny Alves, I don't know if he has much value. Well, a couple of thousand coins. We'll, we'll list him up and try and sell him on. I've got 15 trade pass spaces, so I don't mind too much. John Stone's there as well. Absolutely worthless for an 82 rated player. It's crazy how the market shifts so dramatically, doesn't it? Five more of the 50k packs to go. Obviously, in Christmas Day video, we got literally nothing out of so many packs. We've got back-to-back -back boards here, though. Let's see. Belgian. Left mid. It's going to be Carrasco. Uh, he is going to be a duplicate now. I already sent one from the trade pole into the club. And now we get to send the one from the pack up to the trade pole. But any more 83s in here? Uh, no. Just two gold players that we don't care about. And then a whole bunch of nothing else there. Moving on to rare players pack number three. Can we just get one walkout out of these six packs EA? Just one. Let it be trash as well. Let it be like Edison or something like that. I don't mind. I don't even think that's a board, is it? No, that's not a board. It's going to be... I bet it's Coates, that centre-back, isn't it? When you see Uruguay with no board, it's very few people that it could be. And it is indeed... Oh, get Ander Herrera. Is he valuable at all anyway? Maybe 1,500? No, 1,300, no bin. Wow, even someone like Ander Herrera, 82 rated, very good links all over the place, still doesn't sell. Moving on to the next pack. No walkout here again. My God, if ever you guys needed a visual representation of why spending FIFA points on this game is an absolute ripoff, my last few videos have been exactly it. I, you know, we've spent 
countless amounts of FIFA points to not even get a walkout. We get Vasquez and then a 79 rated. I think even the duplicate, the other untradeable, sorry, the other non duplicate was a 79. So we've got an 83 rated and then 11 79s and lower. So that's kind of luck we're dealing with here. Pack number five, guys. It's not even going to be a board again. Wow. Wow. So EA are just being stingy even with the 83s, 84s, and 85s. It is a full pack of duplicates. It is a full pack of absolutely useless pay players. And then the last 50k pack, guys, before we get into the Team of the Week packs. Obviously, as I said, uh, if for every walkout we get from the Team of the Week packs, I will do two more. So we have three chances. There are actually a lot of walkouts. How many have we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten walkouts from the 23 players um, this week. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, you, you got almost, you got like a 40% chance of getting a walkout, if, it, if only it were, were that simple. Obviously, we don't want to see some of the terrible walkouts, but let us go for our three Team of the Week players, guys. Let's see. Can we start with a walkout? No, we can't. So the best case scenario here is Andros Townsend or Perrin, really. Um, also, Gale is pretty good as well. The German is definitely not someone we want. A 76-rated Team of the Week. And th this is why... You know that this is we can reuse these guys in um, the upgrade packs, but oh sorry, the tradable team of the weeks. But I, I just honestly, I don't feel like I want to invest too much into this, just because of th there's not like a whole bunch available for what you would want to pack. Pack number two is no walkout again. Portuguese right wing. I don't even know who that is. It's another 76 rated. Oh my god. So we have got literally two of the worst three so there's a silver team of the week which obviously we can't get then there's 75 stockley and then there's two 76s and we have packed both 76s i don't think we're going to be getting a walk out here guys so let's try our third and final one it's no walk out is it going to be the other terrible one is it going to be a 75 can we go for the trifecta french centre back it is going to be Perrin so there's lots of French walkouts La La Pogba and Ribéry there's only four French oh no there's yeah four French players in total Loic Perrin is the best non-walkout so I suppose that in itself going into a tradable team of the week will be quite okay but guys sadly for me um, nothing crazy there as I said to you guys you know I don't necessarily think I'm going to waste too many resources on the team of the week packs because I just don't think there's much value. For you to be able to pack a player that's going to actually represent value for spending money into the SBC, you have to hit Sandro, Lala, Pogba, or Son. And honestly, the odds of doing that are slim to none. I would say don't even waste your coins on these SBCs. I'm going to because I'm going to create content from it. But for you guys, I would say you're probably best off just saving or selling those 83s into the hype and then buying players with that. This, guys, is going to be the end of the video for now. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.